basically like a, I guess sunny side out. Hi guys, welcome to another Friday recipe video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys three delicious recipes uh, for our breakfast. Breakfast is sometimes being told the most important meal of the day, and sometimes we just don't have time on, uh, in the morning if we just love sleep and we don't wake up too early. So we're going to show you guys uh, three, uh, two quick recipes and one is good to uh, prep in bulk so that way you can just grab and go. The first one is something I recommend you prep the night before and you can prep in bulk. So uh, you need uh, basically a muffin tray but in our case we don't have a muffin tray, we just have this one single muffin thing. So we're just going to prep one but I, I recommend you use at least, uh, you may prep at least six. So you can use a six muffin tray or 12 muffin tray and, and so you can use throughout the week for meal prep. And so basically you just need a one egg and then you need uh, just some chopped up the vegetables. So you can use anything. Uh, and so we uh, so I have zucchini, bell pepper, radish, and uh, garlic and onion. You can use anything you desire. You can use spinach, you can use carrots, anything that you like. So you basically just pour them into the muff uh, so put the vegetable into each muffin tray, uh, each muffin container, I guess a little muffin thing in the tray, and then you basically just crack an egg and just put it on top of it. And then I recommend you put some seasoning, so black pepper and salt, maybe some other like uh, garlic powder or any other powder that you like. And then you basically just put it in the oven. So you set the oven temperature at 350 degrees or 180 Celsius. And then you just let it uh, cook for about 20 minutes. And so um, 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys whenever it's done. So guys, this is the final product. You can see it's, uh, like, it's basically like a uh, sunny side up. It's not really sunny side up, but it's... Yeah, but it's a it's a, a, a egg muffin, and so for you, you're probably gonna have uh, six to twelve of them. So you can eat one or two for breakfast throughout the week. So let's move on to our second breakfast recipe. So guys, the uh, second recipe I'm gonna show you guys is a uh, green smoothie recipe. Let's say if you, you are in a hurry and you don't have time to eat your breakfast, uh, making a smoothie actually is a great way uh, because you can put it in a portable container and you take with you to work or on the bus, you know, or even school and you can drink them uh, while you're doing your work or you know, and you're doing the things that you need. So that way you still have a healthy breakfast without reaching to that, uh, let's say, croissant or the donut. So you need a blender, of course, and then so if you have if you prefer protein powder, you can use a, a scoop of protein powder. But uh, for protein, I'm just gonna use my favorite cottage cheese. You, uh, by this time, you probably guys know that I love cottage cheese. It's a great source of protein. And then just for greens, I like to do uh, use a per, uh, use a zucchini because zucchini really adds the creaminess into your uh, into a smoothie. And then I also, I think you guys probably can see I have a uh, chopped up apple. Uh, but you can you can also you can use any fruit you want. You can use uh, 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 berries. You can use banana. You know, basically you can use kiwi. You can use mango. Any fruit that you desire. And then also just give a little icy. So you can I so I use frozen uh, frozen vegetables. You can use frozen spinach. And then of course uh, we need cinnamon to stabilize our blood sugar. And then for sweetness at the end we can use a little bit stevia again. And then also for healthy fat, we use a uh, raw egg, but if you're concerned about like salmon, um, salmonella, then you can like, use avocado instead for the healthy fat. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're just going to put all the ingredients, so we're going to put an egg in there. Like, and also, uh, in America, you guys have egg white, so liquid egg white is ster ster uh, sterilized, so you can add the egg white. Actually, egg white doesn't give you a healthy fat, I'm sorry. So you can, I guess so, you guys can just use avocado. And then also uh, cottage cheese for protein. Just, just basically just put everything, sorry guys. Put everything into the smooth, into the blender. And then a little bit of uh, cinnamon. Don't add the stevia yet to the in. So you just add water. 
and just blend everything up. So see you guys when we blend things all together. So yes, so this is blender product. You can just kind of taste it and then see uh, how much sugar you want. So it looks like this maybe a couple of drops of stevia. And so you just just quickly blend it real fast. Pour this into a, con a container you have, and basically just pour this up, and then take it with you. You know it's ready, and you can go drink it anywhere you want, and have a healthy breakfast to go. So this is our second recipe. Let's move on to our third recipe. So guys, uh, this is our last recipe. It's gonna be super easy, and so you need a banana. You don't have to use banana, but I really recommend you. It, it works really well in this recipe. And then uh, again, sorry guys, cottage cheese, but you don't have to use cottage cheese, you can use ricotta cheese, so you can also use uh, Greek yogurt. And for chocolatey, if you don't like chocolatey feeling, you, you don't have to use, uh, but I'm gonna use cocoa powder. Uh, you can use vanilla extract if you want. And then cinnamon, and just use the stevia. So what you do, you wanna get a reasonably ripe banana. And then you just throw it. And that is a very easy hand, but you don't even need to use a knife. Just break it into uh, pieces. And then put the kind of uh, powdered in there, or in your case, yogurt. I would say uh, try to aim for about 20 to, uh, yeah, 15 to 20 grams of protein. And then put it in there, and just mix it in. So you can add just vanilla if you want. If you add vanilla shot, I, I don't think you want to add any stevia. But if you use uh, cocoa powder, you probably need a little bit of stevia. Just a little bit of cinnamon. And then cocoa powder. It's going to be about a tablespoon. Probably three drops of stevia. And just mix the uh, everything. Together. So it's uh, very good. I think this is I mean, it may not look the most appetizing, but I swear to you guys, it's uh, super easy, super quick to make, and it's uh, it tastes uh, like uh, chocolate or it's like dessert for breakfast. If some of you guys love. Uh, craving pastry, this is a great way to uh, satisfy that craving. It's much healthier. So I uh, hope you guys will find these three uh, breakfast recipes to be useful. And so just remember in the morning there you have a lot of options, uh, even if you don't have time to get a healthy breakfast. And breakfast is one of the most, uh, I'm not gonna say it's the most important meal of the day, but if you're somebody who like, who needs breakfast in the morning, then, you know, you have options. So hope you guys uh, enjoy this, uh, find the rest, breakfast recipe video to be useful. And if you come back on next Friday, I'm going to show you a three healthy salad recipe. And also, month, if you come back on Monday, we're going to show you more uh, resistance tutorial videos to help you build muscle without dumbbells. And so, I uh, hope you guys like this video. And if you do, click the like button. And also share this video with your friends and family. And uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I make a video like this every Friday. And so I hope you guys will have a great weekend. Bye. This is the, the mixed product. You can see it has a very good brownie consistency. Works your oblique, works your core, works your full body.